it's time. The amount of dust. <laughs> Terrifying. <clears throat> no spiders, okay. Maybe I should do it on the one below. I am the worst. Hello, how are you doing? Is everyone good? This is my first like video of 2021. My second actually, because I did the narrated Wattpad story, but that was more, what was that? That was more like a voiceover, not just like me chatting with you. I haven't chatted with you guys since 2020. That's, that's crazy. It's already April. How is it April? I don't know. I've been uploading these in 2021, but they've been from 2020. And now finally, since I posted my 2020 recap last video, it actually hasn't been posted yet, but when this is posted, that will be posted. We'll be kind of back on track. We'll be back in, I mean, God, who knows? But it is April. And while we're on the topic of me being late, uploading everything two months later, uploading my 2020 montage four months later, today we're gonna do something a year later than we were supposed to. I'm gonna open Gmail for a sec right here. Let's see here. Yep, 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 okay. March 23rd, I get an email and it is from Thread these and they want to send me a box of clothes to do a little unboxing haul, right? Just a casual little, like me do a little unboxing clothing haul type thing. I was like, yeah, haven't done a clothing haul in a while. So fast forward, they send me the box. It gets here. I have a shipping notification. It arrived on April 16th, 2020. This box did. This box from Thread Beast arrived April 16th, 2020. Today is April 6th, 2021. And I just barely moved it for the first time since I set it there on April. 16th. I have not opened it <laughs> and I never filmed the unboxing. Threadbeast probably hates me. They probably are like, oh, he just took a free box of clothes from us and didn't even post. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, to be to be fair, it wasn't like contract signed or very like serious. It was just like more like a if I wanted to type thing, but I said, yeah, I said I would. So Threadbeast, I'm sorry. But today, April 6th, 2021, I'm going to do a clothing haul, an unboxing. I have no idea what's in this box. We're gonna do a little unboxing and a little clothing haul a year late. Fun fact, last time I did a clothing haul, it was about this time of year in 2019, two years ago, I think, like purely just a clothing haul. And I was wearing this exact same hoodie in this exact same spot. So that's just fun, is that? This is fun. So here we are back in the same spot, almost two years later doing another clothing haul. Except last time it was a thrifting clothing haul and this clothing haul is gonna be with Threadbeast. So what Threadbeast is, basically you don't have to go shopping at the mall. On the box here it says one less trip to the mall. So basically what you do, you go on their website, you fill out your clothing sizes, where you like to shop at, where do you shop, what clothes do you like, what vibe are you, what do you want to do? So, I truly have no idea what's in this box. I don't know what they sent me. I filled out my thing and they sent it to me. That's what Threadbeast does. If you want your own box, Thank you so much, Threadbeast. I'm so sorry that I'm just opening it a year later. But that, that that's what makes it fun, right? Curated with love in California. It has fuzzies, dust, hair, everything. It's like I took it out of the attic and I'm like unboxing a treasure. So this is gonna be just as a surprise to me as it is to you. So I'm super excited to see what Threadbeast has to offer me, what's gonna be in his clothes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox, so I'm gonna show you, then I'm gonna do a little try and haul. Then I'm gonna pair what Threadbeast sent me with outfits, some I already have, maybe outfits together in here. And we're just gonna do a little fun try and haul. Are we excited? <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled. But first, I have something very important. Show the Kit Kat. Do you see that? I was at Walmart yesterday. It was Easter yesterday, or two days ago. It was Easter two days ago. It's around springtime. We were in the checkout line, and this caught my eye. It is a Kit Kat, but it is key lime pie. And I was like, what is this contraption? This is bizarre, right? So I had to get it. I wanted to try it on camera and see if it's good because you know, key lime pie, key lime pie it just like always sounds refreshing and nice and grand, right? But with chocolate, I don't know how I feel about that. Cause when you think of key lime pie, you think of like, mmm, limey, like refresh. Okay, it smells like key lime pie, but like, like I said, this is chocolate. And I do, I like Kit Kats. 
That was a clean break. We're gonna try it. We're gonna eat it Kourtney Kardashian style. Obviously, there's no other way. Okay, this isn't this isn't half bad. This is not half bad. The chocolate part tastes like has a key lime vibe. Do I like the pie better? Yeah, but it kind of it's like this is the crust of the key lime pie. Jeepers creepers. The last layer here. We just go. You guys, honestly, like a nine out of 10, like this isn't bad. I was concerned if it was gonna be bad or not, but it's not. Okay, wow. Well, now that we've done that, I also want to announce I'm wearing a hoodie, so I can't show you. I did get COVID vaccinated today. Celebrate that. Yeah, I literally got it like an hour ago, you guys. <laughs> I'm not feeling any side effects or anything. <laughs> I'm actually going to flying to California later today, as you guys know. Lately, I've kind of been doing like a half in California, half in Utah lifestyle, because obviously Utah is my home. So I'm going back to California tonight. So I figured I would do this before I leave. And maybe I can take some fun stuff with me in my suitcase that I enjoy. From Threadbeast. Threadbeast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, jabbering, but I miss jabbering with you guys. So now that we're done jabbering, what's in the box, baby? Oh. Oh, it comes in beautiful packaging, as you can see. It has a little fun sticker right there. So fun. Okay, fun. So, follow Threadbeast on Instagram, you guys. This is a free package giveaway rules, but considering that they did send me this a year ago, I don't know if that giveaway is a thing anymore. First thing they sent me is one boxer brief. Thank you so much, Threadbeast. I actually was thinking about how I needed some new Calvin Klein underwear, but this PSD underwear looks like it's really soft and comfy. So, wow. Featuring a microfiber blend for dynamic comfort and support. The most comfortable everyday underwear. Don't hate the boxers. Oh, I can't pair them with anything because they're their underwear. Giving me very like, how do I explain it? Like the long skinny ones. But I will say these are very comfortable. These are more silky. I'm more of like a cotton, you know, that type. I feel like these would be really good for like basketball or like sports type things where like you need long, smooth and like skin tight. But it's not like tight, like, ow, this hurts. It's more like, it's like a very comfy, um, They feel more as like biker shorts. Like that's that's how I that's how I can explain it. Like this is how long my shorts normally are. They're very long. I was not expecting to model underwear in this video. Not bad, they're based. Not bad. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, they all have a fun thread beast. Is this a sticker? I think this is a sticker. It's a sticker, you guys. That is so fun. They come with stickers. They sent me stickers. That's so cute. Next, they sent me. This long white sleeve Levi's shirt, which this would actually be good for a lot of like layering type of situations, or if you just wanna wear a white shirt for the day, then do it. Wow. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. I put a t-shirt over the long sleeve. We're in Utah, there should not be an earthquake. I paired a red shirt over the Levi long tee with some shorts and some yellow vans. See, when I think of this, I think of like 2000s, like I'm going to a skate park in Venice Beach. Like that's the vibe that I'm getting from this. You could also do the long sock Air Force Nike one. You could probably pair any type of shirt. You could also wear like some ripped jeans if you wanted, maybe not shorts. But since it's spring and summertime, I'm trying to style these around that compared to fall or winter. If it was fall, I would probably put a nice thrifted jacket over this with some jeans, maybe some boots, or just the classic long sock Air Force One. I do that a lot. But for the spring, we're gonna go Y2K sk skater in Venice Beach. Not too shabby. No? Do you want to go skating to Venice Beach, brother? I would love to. I'm 
pretty sure I've almost worn this exact same outfit last fall. Super nice. We're gonna move forward. We have, ooh, we have a nice Brixton custom quality tee. We love a good simple tee. I love the color. It has a little gold outlining. How fun, right? And then on the back, it just has a bigger Brixton sign. Cool. I paired the Brixton tee with some jeans and the long sock combo. I actually also wear this with some shorts, maybe some tan shorts. I could also just use those same yellow vans as before. Uh, it really just depends on the day, but I either just do some ripped jeans, maybe some black ripped jeans. This shirt is actually very comfortable. Yeah, it's just like a good, easy, chill outfit. You could also do like a little snapback. I feel like this shirt's very good for like a snapback moment, pull all together. Oh, this looks exciting. This, okay. We have this jacket. It's Puma. It's a zipper that goes about halfway down. And it's Puma. Oh my God. This Puma jacket, I would basically do the same thing. I feel like this needs more of like a bulkier type shoe, like some Air Force Ones or maybe like some Champions. I don't think I would necessarily pair these jeans with it, maybe. Like some nice tan, uh, cargo pants. That could be a vibe. Or probably black. I think I would go with black. I don't know if this gold zipper or Puma in general is really my vibe. I would probably like maybe give this hoodie to like my friend David or something. I feel like he would enjoy this. I actually like it. Like I like the stripe vibe going on. It's just not really my forte. It's probably my least favorite thing, but it's, I still vibe with it. We can rock it. We can rock whatever we want to. <sighs> like would I ever actually wear this? But you can gift what you don't like to friends or sell on Depop. And then lastly in this box that they sent me is this nice colored shirt. Uh, it looks very like beachy. You could wear this to the beach vibe. I do like the stripes. I like the texture of it. I like that it's a bit big. Yeah, this would be like nice for a fun little beach day, you know? So for the button up shirt, I paired it with these beachy type jeans that I got at H&M and these sandals that I actually got a couple days ago from the Easter Vine. You probably can't see my toenails from this far away, but they need to be clipped, I'm sorry. But like, this is like a little beach fit. If you're like not actually swimming or like if you wanna wear your swimsuit under these. I actually think this looks really nice. And I love this color because my eyes are blue as well. So it'll probably bring out the blue in my eyes. If I was like tan and I was like going to the beach in this, you know? You get the vibe. I'm using my Key Lime Kit Kats to hold my camera up right now. And that went by really fast. Um, good thing that I mumbled a lot during the beginning because <laughs> that was quite fast. Thank you guys for watching my clothing haul that is in fact a year late. <laughs> Go to threadbeast.com if you would like and fill out the application and they send you a box filled with clothes that is based on your style. Which I think is fantastic and great. I know that I'm gonna enjoy my new Threadbeast gear or a year old Threadbeast gear. Go try yourself a Key Lime Pie Kit Kat if they're still available when this is posted. Maybe it was just an Easter weekend thing, who knows? Let me know if you guys want more thrifting clothing hauls. I actually haven't gone thrifting in so long and I miss it, so. If you want some new clothes, go shop my brand, Wadaw Shop. I'm super excited for some summer releases I have in mind and what's coming next, so. I hope you have a fantastic day, weekend, Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Did I forget Today, but I hope you're having an amazing night, morning, or whatever. And I will see. Oh, my legs are sore from the gym, and I cannot. I'm not that flexible. I love you. Bye, guys.